Yep, what a bike, eh? So I've just ridden here, it's really early, it's Sunday morning. Um, I've had to go run a few errands. Had some breakfast on my way home. It's only maybe 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm about 60 k's away from where I live. Um, I think today's one is a bit of an unusual one actually about this bike. I love this bike. I've had it for two years uh, as of last month. And you all saw, if you tuned into my uh, a couple of videos ago, two years of ownership, my thoughts. And I brought up the, st the, 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 the topic of having the stage two that I've done to it. And with this I had the, um, the stage two done. I had the 475 SNS cam, um, chain driven. Um, with the, obviously what you can see there, the Cobra El Diablo 2 into 1 exhaust. Um, beautiful looking exhaust beautiful note comes out of it it's a bit loud with the cam and I was saying to you guys about the rideability um, down really low so when you get over like two and a half three thousand rpm it's um, it smooths right out but that's not where you ride all the time that's the problem so um, I did say to you would I, if I had the choice to do the stage two again um, I said I wouldn't and I'm actually really considering going back to a stage one. The rideability is all gone. So yeah, the power, the, the tons of power. Like it went from 89 horsepower to 100, and basically 119. Now, huge gains in power and 188 newton meters of torque at the tire. And before that, I had maybe 100. And, when I had the dyno tune, the stage one, 153 newton meters, which is still a bucket load, you know, but. The extra 30 newton meters of torque and the extra 30 horsepower, mate, this thing hammers. But you do give up a lot of um, um, rideability. There's just no doubt about it. I think um, if I if I was to get a new cam now, I probably wouldn't go as aggressive as the 475, even though it's the best sort of um, value for money. What you get, you know, the power gains you get in return. Um, I originally wanted to go for the 465, which was a torque cam, but at the time you just couldn't get them, and they were months away because of COVID and all that kind of stuff, and parts are hard to get, and you know this and that. But um, someone suggested to me, one of my uh, YouTube subscribers, um, he or they uh, work for a, a, um, a dealership in the eastern states of australia in queensland and he was saying you know talk to your dealer and get some um get some milder cams there's plenty of options out there and they change the rideability but you know what i mean the 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 cons sort of at this stage now even though i've, I've had the cam for a year and i think the cons are now starting to outweigh the pros so we're um um it's just the couple of things like i mean the, the pro is without a doubt the power the power is immense with a cam it's just immense like if unless you've actually sort of um experienced going from a stage one to a stage two with such a high lift cam then you just you just you, you, it's just insane that's the only that's the only pro and they sound wicked the the idle chop is just unbelievable However, you lose all the bottom end feel to the bike. Um, there's no rideability. So, like when you're riding, um, you're going around corners, you're turning. Sorry, mate, you're doing you're doing left, like, you know, round roundabouts, turning left turn, right turn, stopping, taking off, that kind of stuff. It is horrid. And I've, I think I showed you around that and the one that video where I said two years of ownership. But going around roundabouts and stuff. You've actually got to ride the clutch because it's the bike's going. Uh, 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 uh. It's just like really, really stuttery. You lose all that smooth bottom end. Um, what else? The fuel economy. I mean, even though this is pretty good, pretty good. It's not bad. If I ride easily and gingerly, I'm getting around 220 a tank. Uh, then I've got to start looking for a, a, um, a service station. Before I was getting about 250. I've got to start looking, so I've lost about 30 kilometers of a tank. It's not a big tank, as you all know on these street bobs. It's only like 13, I think it's like 13.2 litres or something like that. 13.4, somewhere around there. I always forget. Um, yeah, so that, and and I'm noticing now I had it retuned to 
get rid of the overrun that the on off throttle it's like backfiring every time i just get on the throttle it goes bang 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 it's just it's actually annoying so uh, not like i'm not having a dig at the guys that have tuned this bike they just do what they can uh, on their readings and on their um rolling roads as they call them the dinos and then yeah so i'm really really considering going back to a stage one but getting just putting a normal cam back in it and having it re dynoed and maybe get a different breather on it uh, a bit of a heavy breather get a bit more air in there um to maximize the stage one sort of thing but the rideability get the rideability back um the other con is it is loud it is very very loud like you can't tell because my microphone when i'm riding is in my helmet you can still hear it but my god it is loud you've got to be so sort of conscious of where you're riding how you're riding around people your neighborhood um the cops because the cops here in Perth, Western Australia, they would just love nothing less than putting a yellow sticker on it, which is a um, like a unroadworthy certificate until you get it all sorted. Um, it's loud. Um, it's it can be when you're getting on it, it can be obnoxiously loud to the point where you're like you're just antisocial. But you know what? I love it being loud. I, I and I know I've heard on street bobs with the Cobra El Diablo two into ones i've heard them with the stage ones they're still nice loud but they're not they're not loud like this because when when you open this thing up and the valves start to overlap man it freaking barks eh? and even my mates behind me they're going shit i can't ride behind you dude i've got to get in front of you so and they love bikes they love harleys and stuff like that so it is a bit loud um but other than that i think that's about it so after a year of having a 475 cam stage two in my 114 street bob would i do it again no nah, definitely not so if, are you guys out there that have, if you've done it to yours with the same cam and what you know what what do you think um if you had yours cammed as long as i have it's just uh, it's a year this month august and a year ago about a week ago a uh, year um and i've had to have it tuned one two three four times i've had it dyno tuned four times to try and get it right since the cam's been in so this bike has had five dynos one when i had the stage one which was okay and then i've had it uh, the four times dynoed since i've had the cam in it and uh, yeah and that's it so it rides it rides really nice when you're up in the high rev range because that's where it's designed for the cam to start working and all that sort of stuff but when you're just riding around punting around doing uh you know like uh, around the suburbs uh, here in australia it's 50 kilometers to 60 kilometers school zones are 40 kilometers and you just can't ride it it's just herky-jerky it runs rough it's popping it's farting all sorts of things so um yeah so i'm really really sort of you know, contemplating going back to a stage one just for that for that very purpose and i think it's got it had good power in the stage one it had lots of torque but it was really smooth talk so anyway guys what do you think if you've had these and you're considering getting a stage two you've got a stage two with the 114 street bobs um you've got a uh, you know a similar setup to mine with the two into one and the 475 that kind of thing what do you think um how do you feel about yours do you feel like you've lost your rideability but you enjoy the power i mean i enjoy the power don't get me wrong but man, it's just, it's, in, it's immense. The power is immense. So there you go. So guys, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome aboard. Thanks for um, clicking on the video and watching. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to my channel. I don't charge you. I don't expect money from you. Anything like that. Um, and I'm starting to see, and, and apologies, I'm getting off track here a bit. I'm starting to see um, adverts popping up in some of my videos that are getting like uh, a bit of watch time i do apologize that's not me it's youtube i don't know why they're doing it i don't think they should be able to do it if i'm not monetized because i have enough subscribers then they need to stop putting adverts into some of my videos because i'm halfway uh, watching it and i'm going uh, my, with my mates and my brother and family and that two adverts pop up it's like what the hell you've not paid me to interrupt my videos so yeah i do apologize for all that um yeah so there you go so let me know your thoughts guys if you've if you're looking at getting a stage one there are some cons um and you do lose a fair bit of rideability if you've got it already 
and you're like me, you think, eh, I might go back to stage one, have I done the right thing? Uh, there's a guy in America, he's called Harley Geezer, he did one of his bikes with a stage two, and he regrets it as well, so I can't be the only person out there, So, but it's all money, so it cost me two grand to put a cam and dyno chain in this bike, Australian dollars, it's probably going to cost me about the same to put back to stage one. Man, I tell you what though, but you can't take it with you, can you? So you might as well spend it while you're here. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Ride safe, bye for now.